Hey guys, in today's video, we are going to bling out this shirt right here. So, if you like what you see, stay tuned. Okay guys, so this is the shirt that I'm going to bling. And I want it to match, of course. So these are the colors that I'm using. I'm using Aquamarine. Look how gorgeous that is. I'm using the Baby's Booty Crushed Ice AB. Look at how gorgeous that is. Oh, oh my God. That's the first time I'm using that one. And then I'm using Blue Zircoin. And this one is gorgeous also. Look at that. So I have my template. And it's going to be Keep God First. So the Keep God First is going to be in Crushed Ice. And then I'm going to have the Aquamarine and the Blue Zorcoin um, as the God. So let me move my shirt out the way because that's the last thing I need right now. Okay, so now we're going to use the Crushed Ice. And this should go in pretty easy. Oh my God, look at how gorgeous that looks, guys. <gasps> wow. Oh my God, I love this. This looks so good. So I just wanna brush the extras to the side. The baby's booties has awesome rhinestones. You, you can't, you can't go bad with her rhinestones. I'm telling you right now, I bought rhinestones from a lot of places, and let me tell you something. Hers is the best. Definitely the quality is the best. This looks so good, guys. This crushed ice. At first, I didn't think I was going to like it. But then Eve matched it with some other colors. I'm like, oh, okay. I can see me do something with that. So, guys, if you ever interested in buying some rhinestones, she's having her updated uh, buy-in. And it, I think we got one more buy-in. And then that is it. So definitely go check her out. She has, I think, 62 different colors. And if you want to get 62, guys, I'm telling you. I mean, if you're going to go and you're going to do rhinestones, might as well get all the colors because you never know what you're going to need when you're doing a project. Okay. So I'm just filling the rest of these stones. Guys, I am super excited. I am going to the So Magical Expo. And this is my second time. And the first time, I had a really good time. And I'm hoping for the same this time. You know, it's good to be in a place where everybody does the same thing you do and they don't look at you funny. Or crazy. You know, when you're trying to explain to them a certain thing that you're doing. Okay, so I got the first part ready. Okay, so we got our first part cut. Now I'm going to get some 
transfer tape and we're going to transfer this over. Okay, so now I got some transfer tape. I'm going to try my best. Okay, so now I'm just going to bring this down closer to me. And I think I got it. I got one stone flip. I can fix that. Okay, so I think I got it all flipped over. So now, we're just going to peel this up. Okay. Now I'm going to take my backing. And there goes the first part of my shirt. Look at how that bling bling shows. I mean, guys. Wow. So now I'm going to bring my template back in. And now I'm debating, should I go dark blue and light blue or light blue and dark blue? So I think I'm going to do the light blue. So now I'm just going to pour some in this cap. And what I want to do is add some blue tape to cover my other words. I just want to cover it to where I don't get no stones. Okay. So now, just press it down so nothing goes under. So now I'm going to take my light blue. And I'm just going to push them down. And now, I'm just going to rub them in. Oh my God, look at how gorgeous that color is. Okay. Go on to the next. Okay, so now we're doing the last half of the D. Okay, so I got the last letter of fill. So now I want to come back to this middle one. Fill it up and brush it. Okay, got those brushed in. And there we go. So now on to the transfer tape and then the next step. Okay, so I cut a piece of uh, transfer three inches wide. And now we're just going to transfer this onto this one. And Okay, and that looks good. None of the move. And now I'm just going to pick this up and put this back on the transfer. Making sure everything looks good. And they all come up. And now I'm just going to put this on the transfer. And then we're going to do the next step. And there goes what that looks like. And then we're going to use, and what I'm going to do, I'm just going to use the same tape and just flip it around. Now we're going to cover the bottom half. And then now, 
we are going to use the blue zircon. Okay, and now I'm just going to bring you guys in. Oh my God, this is such a beautiful color. Look at that color, guys. Wow. Man, that is such a beautiful color. Okay, so now I'm just going to do the rest. And then I'm going to put this on the chamfer tape. And then we are going to put this baby on my shirt. And then I'll show you the results. Okay, so there that goes. So now I'm just going to take this and I'm going to lay it down. And this ends up being too small. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna lay that down and then I'm gonna add a piece, a small piece. <clears throat> okay, so. Here goes this one. And I had to put it on two side transfers because it's bigger than the original. And there goes that one right there. So now, let me put this all away. Bring in my shirt. And let me kind of cover all of this up because if you guys know me, I like to drop stuff. Okay. So now let me bring in my shirt. So I'm going to go press my shirt real quick and I'll be right back. So now I'm over here in my heat press. And I have the new auto heat press from HTV Vont. And I love this, guys. No more hurting my hand, trying to lift the jigger up. Oh, you have no idea. But anyway, I'm preheating this up. I'm going to iron my shirt. And what's so cool about this is that the whole tray come, pulls out. Pretty much. It's cool, too. So this is my shirt that I'm using. So now I'm just gonna take it and make sure that it's all ironed out, flat, even. And now everything's all pressed out. So now the first thing I wanna do is take my first transfer and three fingers down. Make sure it's straight. Now let me take it off a transfer. Okay, so now I'm just going to add it to my shirt. Three fingers down. Two on the edges. Okay, so now... I'm going to press this first before I press it. I want to put something inside the shirt so the rhinestone template don't show 
in the back of my shirt. So let me do that real quick. Hold on. Okay, so I got a 12 by 12 cardstock and I'm going to put it in between the shirt. Because I don't want the end of the shirt. Because I noticed that a lot of times I'm pressing the shirts, you see the image on the back of the shirt. And I don't want that. So now I'm just going to go. Let me lift this up and make sure it's straight. It looks kind of crooked. That looks correct, so now I'm going to press down on it, and now I'm going to press it for the 12 seconds. Don't mind my mess over here. Okay, it's all done. So now I'm going to pull it out and I'm going to do a hot peel. Oh, wow. <laughs> that looks so good. As you can see, let me shine some light up in here. Hold on. So this is what the shirt looks like. Oops, my ring. Look at that, that looks so good. Okay, so now let's do the second part. I'm gonna fit the G-O-D in the middle of So now I'm just gonna fit it right in the middle, making sure everything is lined up. I think I'm going to do one letter at a time. Because for some reason, it's not lining up right. Okay. So let me see if I can line these two up. No, nope. I'm going to have to cut that too. So now I'm just going to line up the end. Okay, so now I got them where I want them. And now I'm going to press that for 12 seconds. So now it's for 12 seconds at 350. Okay. And there goes the second part. And now... Hot peel. Oh my God, that looks so good, guys. Wow. I love it. Okay, so now, sorry guys that I'm moving the camera, but I can't ever figure out which way I want. Mm -hmm. And now for the last part. So now... Just want to make sure everything is getting lined up. No wrinkles. And now I'm going to add this one down. And I'm going to have to do the same with this one. For some reason it's not lining up. I don't know why.
now for the last one. Okay, so here goes our last press. And okay. Let's do a peel back. Hot peel. Oh my god. Guys, I gotta iron this shirt. <laughs> now you see what I'm talking about? How it'll get stuck on the back. You see how so I'm glad I end up putting the and that you can feel the stickiness. I don't know why that's doing that. Okay. So look at how my shirt looks. <laughs> wow, it looks so good, guys. Oh, wow. I am going to wear this for the So Magical Expo. And I'm going to try it on so you can see what it looks like. Now, I don't know if you can see. Let me... I see it, and I should have pressed it with the white because I didn't have none of this on the back, and now I got it on the back. I don't understand why. But anyway, I'm going to go try this on, and I'll be back. Okay, there goes my shirt, guys. It looks so good. Let me bring the light in. So this is what it looks like. And I'm super excited to flash it on the So Magical Expo. Okay, guys. This is what it looks like. The bling is amazing, guys. Look at that. Ooh, I just love it. And I got myself a haircut. So I am all ready for the So Magical Expo. So guys, thank you so much for watching me do this rhinestone shirt. I also have my bag I'm taking with me. So I'm super excited about that. So thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, please thumbs it up. Let me know what you think. And until next time, I'll see you guys soon. Have a blessed day. Mwah! Smooches. Bye now.